Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, today I'll be polishing off my reviews of the new 12th Doctor Strange Screwdriver Toys with this, the much anticipated touch control version, and here it is in its box. Now just like the other two, the shape of the packaging is the same, but the graphics have been given a major overhaul to match the new Series 8 merchandise. At the bottom we get the new thicker Doctor Who logo which no longer contains the insignia, while below it says what it is, and it is the touch control version. It features spring-loaded extending action, electronic lights and sounds, and touch activation, plus it also contains a removable power core. The window is large so you can get a good look at the Sonic while the background is just a plain yellow. The back offers some legal guff and blah 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 so let's move on and take a look at the toy itself. Okay, so here it is, the touch control Sonic screwdriver. And naturally, it's pretty much identical to the other two Sonic toys. The claws around the emitter do seem to be much tighter this time around though, but beyond that, the cage section with its knurled panels, grip and end cap all look the same, with the end cap not having a hinge, just like the single button version. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the handle. As you can see, it still has that leather effect sculpted into it, as well as the stitching running down the middle. It has the larger extending button at the top, but no other button. This is down to the unique way in which it works. Simply holding the handle with your thumb and finger will cause it to activate. How cool is that? You don't even have to press down on it, just touching it will activate the lights and sounds, hence the name. I love this, it's a really clever gimmick and I was very impressed with the Sonic the first time I used it. Its controls are highly responsive so it can activate even when just picking it up, so I'd suggest holding it by the handle until you want to activate it. As you can hear, the Sonic offers the same sound chip as the previous character 11th and 12th Doctor Screwdrivers, the lower and high pitched noises. And the two hidden sounds which are activated in the same way by pressing the handle three times or four times. And just like the others, the LED light reacts to the frequency of the secret signs. Pressing the top button on the handle will cause the Sonic to flick open and the claws to extend. This Sonic still has that powerful spring inside it, so it does open rather quickly. You can see the green core inside the screwdriver. Nothing's really changed here beyond the fact that no button is visible on the bottom section anymore. The wires leading to the emitter are still visible but are made from a thinner material now, so are far less conspicuous. Like the single button version, this screwdriver can be activated via the handle when in extended mode. This is great, as just like the single button, it makes its use so much easier. What's more is that the screwdriver can remain activated while being extended or closed. How awesome is that? It's just a shame that the spring mechanism only allows the screwdriver to remain fully open or fully closed though, as this is the closest the character have come to replicating the functions of the prop so far. The Sonic also features a removable end cap which includes a power core. This is a nice idea and takes advantage of the lower section as it gives the toy an added touch since the red button was removed. The power core looks really interesting, it's made from translucent green plastic with this great circuitry design moulded into it and some silver paint apps have been included to add to its effect. It doesn't really do anything however, taking it out doesn't work as a kill switch or anything, the Sonic can still fully operate with or without it and it doesn't light up. Still, it's a nice inclusion and kind of ties into the show as we see the Doctor remove a battery from the end of the screwdriver in Into the Dalek and batteries are parkour so it makes sense. So yeah, all in all, it's a great toy and oh, oh no, oh and you were doing so well. Yes, sadly, this Sonic's overall look is ruined by my two least favourite things on a toy, and here they both are together. A big obvious battery compartment, and to add further insult to injury, it's caked in legal schmoitfungel. There's really no need for this. The batteries could have been inserted at the bottom of the Sonic. I'd happily forego the parkour option just to have a hidden battery compartment. And that legal guff is just horrendous. What a shame. Doing a size comparison, you know the story by now, the 11th and 12th Doctor Sonics are the biggest of the bunch, while all three of the Sonics I've reviewed over the last few days have identical dimensions. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's excellent for the most part. Sure, it may be the same thing we've seen since 2010 superficially, but that touch control option is a much welcomed addition. I love it. I think it's a fantastic gimmick, and the fact that you can keep the Sonic activated while it's being extended or retracted only adds to my appreciation of it. Of course, the big selling point, like the single button version, is that it can be activated when in extended mode via the handle. I find that the touch control version is much easier to use in extended mode, as with the single button version you have to press down quite hard to get it to work, whereas this is very sensitive, so therefore requires little effort. 
I still really wish that they would drop the spring mechanism from these toys though, as it's inaccurate to how the Sonic opens in the show, and restricts the screwdriver to only being fully closed or fully open, even though it can now be activated no matter where it has been extended to. The power core is a fun little extra, but I wish it had done something, like been a kill switch or lit up, but I like it all the same. The battery compartment and legal guff really let this toy down though, I just hate how obvious they look, and takes away from its appearance. But beyond that, this is an excellent upgrade to the screwdriver, and it's much easier to operate this time around. So that's all three of the new 12th Doctor Sonics available, but which one's right for you? Well, I decided to take myself out of the equation and asked my dad which one he thought was best. What the hell is these like? I'm not your age. You not got a proper job. Huh? What is it? That wasn't the best idea. But which one is the best? Well, it's between the single button and touch control, isn't it? Honestly, the touch control is the outright winner when it comes to features, but if you want a smooth, superficial look, I'd go for the single button, as it doesn't have the legal guff and battery compartment issue. Either way, they ultimately do the same thing, as the spring restricts the touch control to being fully extended or retracted. And as for the basic release? Avoid it like the plague. And so that does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to stay subscribed for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye. What the hell are you doing with these toys like a man like you? Huh? Got a bit of sand for you. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Perfect. That'll do.